am back with another video and hopefully a lot of you are gonna like this one. So, one thing that a lot of people wonder as well, with backing music on the streams, they think copyright is a very big issue, which it is. So, I have got a solution for you. If you want to get loads of music on your stream, like the music currently playing in the background that is non-copyright, so you're not going to get any strikes off YouTube, Twitch, Mixer obviously don't enforce it right now. Doesn't mean they won't in the future. I mean, if Mixer start introducing adverts on the website, chances are they probably will start striking copyright for music. But, there's this cool website which I was actually introduced uh, to by Tractor Manager. Make sure you go check him out, he is an awesome producer for esports stuff. Um, it's called Pretzel Rocks. Pretzel.rocks is literally the URL. So, it's basically like a little mini music player. You can use it in your web browser or download the app on the PC. Now, the benefit of having the app on the PC, which I don't have at the moment, is um, it can output the current song to a text file, and like we said in a previous video, with OBS you can put a text file onto your stream, so you can show the current song that's playing automatically, and you can do that with this app. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you how this app works. Let's go. So, the music that's playing right now, it's playing from this player right here. My desktop audio source in OBS basically just picks up all the audio that plays through my PC. And this is obviously coming from the web browser. So, let me show the website and how it works. It is as easy as this. If I go to, you can see my uh, most viewed websites, by the way. There's nothing really bad there, so it's fine. It's fine. We go to Pretzel Rocks right here. Stream save music for streamers. It's literally what it says on the tin. It's literally what it says on the tin. It gives you music that is not going to get you copyright struck. And all I've done is I hit play in browser. And what this does, it takes me through to here. You can pick different playlists. You can make your own playlist of music. You can listen to different predefined radio stations like here. So I think at the moment I'm on Epic or Hype. I'm on one of these two. And um, they've got so many as well. And there's so many tracks as well. What it also does is it says how many hours. Chill, 40 hours worth of free copyright track music. EDM, 190 hours right there. So many. Holiday tracks, 26 minutes. Obviously there's not as many as that because a lot of them are the biggest ones are copyrighted, so there's a few Christmas ones that people have made. Hip-hop, upbeat, rock, ambient, pretzel, like pretzel is just like uh, all tracks, 283 hours, so that right there, they've got 283 hours worth of copyright free music on their platform, which I think is amazing. I never need any more than that. So, literally, what I can do at the start of the stream is I just sign into, like, I just open this website up, hit play, and it starts playing through music. What's really cool about Pretzel as well, is that you can link it to your stream chat. So you may see at the start of my stream, Pretzel is in the chat, Pretzel Rocks. It posts in there the current song that's playing. Now, I would recommend making the bottom moderator, because otherwise, it's posting links in the chat, and if you set up any filters to delete links out, it probably gets timed out and banned. So I would say set it as a moderator, so it's allowed to post links in your chat. But this can basically post the current song that's playing and a link to it on the Pretzel website, so people can go and listen to it themselves. And um, yeah, it's as simple as that. If you want to download the desktop app, you've got an option just down here. It, it looks pretty much the same, but the benefit is it can output it to a text file. So you can include, say at the top, you can do a thing that says like, now playing sort of thing. Um, which I know a lot of streamers like to do, and it saves people asking what song is playing. But from my point of view, the bot posts in the chat anyway, the current song that's playing. So I kind of thought, I don't really need that. It's just an extra program running on my PC. So I'm going to keep it in the web browser just like this. As easy as that. And um, yeah, you can you can search for different sort of music. If you search for say cartoon, there's see look ten tracks, thirty five minutes of cartoon music. I have no idea what this is though. Actually, I recognise this. What is this from? I have no idea what this is from. But there we go. It's as easy as that. Say if we want to go back to hype, we'll do that. And there we go. Let's put on a bit of hype music just like that. And it's as easy as that. It's really cool. It's completely free. You can use it on the website or you can download it on your PC. It's as easy as that really. So, why not? Go for it. Use it. If you want some backing music and you don't want to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that, this is what I've been using for all these videos that I'm doing as well. Use Pretzel Rocks. It's amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If there is anything else that you want me to talk about on these videos or if, um, if you've got any ideas or if you don't know about Pretzel Rocks, if you want to try it out, let me know how you get on with it. Any questions, you can get me on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. You can put a comment down on YouTube. You can go to my stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler. And you can put a comment in the chat there. And I will try my best to help you out. But thank you so much for watching. And 
I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.